Hello, Kelly Bratcher here, and in this video we're going to learn how to insert an image. Before I start that, just know that you always want to add that metadata and that title tag in all your pages. You're going to want to change out the information to apply, however, so after content equals, make sure that all this information has been changed to apply to this specific page and to you. Same thing for the title tag and in the body tag, which is visible content, you want to add a heading and also make sure that that applies to your page. So to insert an image, I'm just going to hit enter, start with a bracket, IMG, SRC, which stands for source, equals, quotation marks, and now I need to tell the computer where to go to find this image. Well, we always want to save our images in the images folder and then we need to give it the name of the file. So what I'm going to do is go down here in my files task pane. I'm in the review folder because I'm right here and I'm going to go look in my images folder which is also right here beside me and I'm going to see what images I have and I've got an image called cloud or let's start with this one flower.jpg. So we're going to head back over here and I've got mine set up where it will turn yellow if I've got an error so currently this is an error because I'm not finished flower dot jpg close the quotation marks off close the carrot and my picture showed up if your picture doesn't show up you need to do some troubleshooting number one have you even saved your file yet because if you haven't saved your file the computer won't know where you're located number two did you actually save an image called flower.jpg in the folder that you said? So you're going to want to go back over to your task pane and ask yourself. I'm right here and I said to go to the closest images folder which is here. Does one of those exist? And a lot of times you guys only made one folder so it's outside of that folder so that's the problem. And then two, do I actually have a, an image called that? Sometimes you all have extra spaces or characters and that's why it's not working. So test those things out. Now for this assignment you need to add alt text to all of your images. Alt text is required. So I'm going to go after IMG hit space, do alt equals, and I'll just describe this image. This is good if someone has their pictures disabled, if someone cannot see the screen then it's a program could read the alt text to them or if a picture is not loading then the alt text will pop up as opposed to the picture. The other thing that we're going to add for practice is a title text. Title text is not required but it will pop up when people hover over your image. Sometimes people like to add their copyright information here. It's kind of like a screen tip. So I'm going to go ahead and add my copyright information here. So let's do the copyright. It's the and symbol. Copy semicolon and then this is where you'd give credit to the photographer picture taken by and this would pop up in some browsers when you hovered over the image so I now have the alt text which is required the title text which is not required but will pop up when you hover over an image and I'll show you what that looks like in a second and the copyright code which is used to give credit to the owner of an image so let's go ahead and save File, save, then I hit F12 on my keyboard to get a preview. And when I hover over this image, you'll now see the copyright symbol with picture taken by B. Smith. And if you want to save time, like most people do, you can always copy your code and paste it in four more times. And then you can change out the name of the image to get your other images to show up. And all of your images should be the same size because you should have already gone and resized them and compressed them in Photoshop. 